How, uh, do you guys, I mean, this is obviously very tough back-to-back. -to -back. Uh, do you guys approach it any differently than you would any other back-to-back -back just based on that? No, I, mean, I think people, is, it's more of a, you got the two champ, uh, the finals, comp you know, one champion, one, you know, runner-up, rather, whatever, um, two finals competitors, but for us, this is another back-to-back -back of the season. It just happened to be against one of the, or two of the best teams in the league, so I think it's just another back-to-back -to, -back to us, and, um, you know, we got to go out there and try to win both of them. Obviously, these are make or break games early right. in the season, but is it too early to, to have those, like, big tests? Sort of the games, measuring stick. Ten in. games in, or whatever it is, I think it's way too early for that. I think, I think we're at that point of our team that you know we just try to get better every game, um, continue to grow as a team, and you know we we we're worried about getting to that that playoffs, and you know right now we take it game by game and. Can't worry about who we're playing against or a big game. We just worry about, okay, it's Cleveland tonight, and then we just have to worry about Cleveland and take it game by game. But there's no big games for us right now. They're already a difficult team with LeBron, but now that they're shooting the ball the way they are from the three-point line, how much more difficult does it make them? Well, you got a seven-footer in Chandler Fry shooting threes. Um, Kevin Love shoots threes. Kyrie, Jr. Shumper shoot the ball well. Um, you just got to make sure you stick with your game plan. Um, you know, the coaches watch a lot of film, and they go over the things that they feel like we can, you know, try to do to take away some things. But you want to give up something, so you just got to make sure you're, you're giving up the thing that you want to give up. With them shooting the ball the way they are, they're always going to be dangerous and, and effective. So you just got to pick and choose your medicine I know and poison. What DeMar is doing hasn't surprised you that you expect stuff like that from him. But both you and DeMar are students of the game. When you hear these records that he's setting and the, the company that he's with, uh, some of the best players in the history of the game, is that sort of is that a cool thing for you guys? Uh, definitely cool. It's very cool to look at it. For me, it's, it's especially that being him, I definitely look at it because it's really cool. And I tell him stuff about it. But I think it's something when he retires from basketball, whenever that is, years from now, and he goes back and look at the historic start he's having and the things that he's doing in his career. It's something where you're like, wow, that was pretty. Uh, that was an amazing time for me in my life. Are you surprised at all at? the record right now and how well you guys have played. When you factor in having to lean on a couple of rookies, having to deal with some injuries already, a lot of youth on the bench, the team hasn't shot well from distance, and yet here you are still 7-2 and two and still clicking. I think that's a, a surprise. I would never be surprised in my, you know, our, our team winning games. I would never. I mean, I just think we play hard and we go out there, we execute um, the game plans. And we're, we're not, a, we're a young team, but we got some guys that have been through the, the wars and the trenches and, and have been in certain situations. So. Um, I think we've been just a good team. You know, it's still early. We still nine, ten games in. It's a long way to go. So it's a marathon. Uh, I don't think I'm surprised by anything that you know we've done, and I won't be surprised by anything that happens throughout the the, the marathon. Last year in the postseason, you talked about playing in this building. You just said, "Hey, wait till we get home." Right. You know, wait until we get home. Right. What is it about this building or right? buildings Man. in general when you're on the road? It's, a, you know? it's an amazing the atmosphere, the buzz in this building. Uh, it's always live in here. It's uh, something they've created. And, you know, when Brian was here the first time, it was like that. And, you know, even when he wasn't here, it was still. But now it's the buzz with them winning the championship. Um, it's just that, that they have that buzz and that, that party-like, you know, atmosphere. It's, it's a pretty cool place to play in, you know, when, you, when you're when you in the game. You and DeMar have logged a lot of minutes this year, as usual. Uh, how much of a priority does it on you guys to, to take care of your bodies throughout such a long season? Uh, it's always a priority for me. No matter, I take care of my body off season, during the season. And, you know, the minutes that we're playing, you know, we, we, we prepare our bodies for that and um, we prepare our minds for that. So we, we, we know what we have to do. So um, taking care of your body is a big thing and, you know, finding ways to get extra rest in and make sure you get your treatment, your ice, and, and uh, just being, having time to relax is very important throughout this type of season when you're playing this many minutes.